Hello, I'm Bill Simon, CPA in Clearwater, Florida. We provide services to taxpayers who have tax problems throughout the state of Florida and particularly uh, in the Tampa Bay area. Uh, we have many clients across the U.S. that have used our services and we have been very successful in helping them out of some rather tight spots. Uh, <clears throat> today, I'd like to speak with you about uh, something that's all over the news these days, and that's marijuana. And we have many states that have improved medical marijuana use and sale. We have many states who have approved the use of marijuana for recreational purposes and consequently the sale of that marijuana. Uh, and state law says that it's legal. Unfortunately, the federal law continues to hold that any marijuana is an illegal substance. And therefore, you cannot legally come under the federal law for the sale and use of marijuana. So what has happened is that this has created a major problem in the tax world because if you're making the sale of an illegal substance, then you're not entitled to any of the business deductions associated with that sale. You can only deduct the cost of the product, but you still have to report the income from the sale. So you, in effect, end up paying tax on a lot more money than you actually realize because you don't get to deduct things like rent, employee expenses, um, the normal things that a business incurs. So this creates a problem for the owner of this dispensary that is selling the marijuana, whether it be medical or recreational marijuana. It also creates a problem in the area of money laundering charges. It is a problem to take a lot of cash, and most of these places are paid in cash because they cannot open a merchant account with a financial institution. So they are dealing mostly in cash. So to take that cash to the bank and make that deposit creates a cash transaction report that the bank files with the, with the government. And that might be because it's over $10,000 or it could be less than $10,000 and treat it as a suspicious transaction and consequently the banks are not taking these funds. So now you have a business that can't operate a bank account legally and banks don't want to have any part of that because it creates all sorts of problems with the U.S. Treasury Department. So if you're contemplating going into that business or if you're already in that business you really need to seek out someone who has the experience of dealing with this and how this can be handled from a tax standpoint, and we certainly can help you with that. If you'd like to have a free consultation, please feel free to contact us at the information listed below. Thank you for your attention.